Bonjour, je m'appelle Bonnie et c'est Happy Space Creates. everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bonnie and this is Happy Space Create. If you are wondering what on earth is going on on my channel today, I have been practicing my French. I have been watching Emily in Paris and I have absolutely been loving it and I know a lot of you at home have been loving it too. I decided to film a video where I round up some of Emily's most iconic looks throughout the series and I'm going to be showing you where you can get those sewing patterns for you to create the outfits at home and also a couple of selections of fabric choices as well. Um, I will be going through a little bit about the um, retail items that are featured in the show. I've tried to track them down as much as I can and have a little bit of info there for you but mainly I want to be inspiring you to create fashion French chic at home using your sewing machine. So let's get started on the most iconic looks from season two of Emily in Paris. <laughs> So look number one is Emily's rainbow jacket. You can see it here, I'll post a little picture for you. So this is a rainbow jacket. It is from the 2016 resort collection by Sonia Raikal. Um, the original jacket is $510. Um, you can no longer get this, it is a few years old now, so I guess it would technically be cast as vintage, I don't really know. 2016, I think it has to be more than 10 years old to be vintage. But anyway, I tried to source this online and the cheapest price I could get it for was $300 and that was on Vinted. So if you do actually want the original version, you can track this down in a few places or you can make your own at home, which is what us home sewists are all about. So I've rounded up the patterns for you here so that you can create your own. The pattern choice that I have chosen is the Jackie O jacket by Simple Sew. So I think this is a fantastic jacket. It is a cropped boxy style, exactly like the one that Emily is wearing. The great thing about the Jackie O jacket is that it has no fastening, so no zip, no buttons. It is an open front jacket for you to wear, which makes this a super, super easy pattern to make. It is literally just a little bit of tailoring that you might need to do, um, but I think it's a fab pattern and it's almost identical dupe for it. So alternatively, you can use the Livia jacket by Style Arc. This looks as a pencil drawing a little bit different to the Jackie O jacket, but with a couple of hacks, you can make this pretty identical. The only thing different about this style is that it has princess seams, meaning that if boxy style cuts aren't for you and it just doesn't suit your body shape, you can use those princess seams to create a more tailored fit. So moving on to fabric selection, I have tracked down some Aztec style rainbow fabric from Minerva.com. I will post a little picture of it here for you. This kind of rainbow fabric is quite hard to track down. A lot of the rainbow fabric I saw was quite childlike, so something you would use for like a kid's room or a kid's blanket. So I did find it quite hard to track down rainbow fabric. This fabric was the closest I could find that I would consider using for dressmaking. Like I said, it's got a bit of an Aztec feel for it, but the colours are quite similar. And also it has like a nice little texture to it as well. Emily's jacket in the show is more of like a wool type fabric, giving it nice warmth. Um, so if you do find any fabric, track that down. Do comment it down in the box below because I was searching ages for fabric like this. But this Aztec fabric from Minerva, I have seen many made up into a jacket and it looks absolutely stunning. So that is my selection for look number one. You've also got a Riley Blake fabric which is 14 pound meter and that is from framble.com. Um, this is like a diagonal rainbow stripe. I feel like the fabric colours are a lot more similar to that of Emily's in the show, um, except the colours are on a diagonal. So that might make it a lot more interesting to cut onto the jacket. So have a little play about with what you think, but those are my top two fabric choices for this look. 
So look number two is worn by Camille, which is Emily's friend that she meets in Paris. There is a little bit of a love triangle going on in the show, but I won't spoil it for you in case you haven't watched it. Um, but yes, Camille is a French lady. She is so chic. I love all of her outfits and she has got legs to die for. So she is wearing a super, super wide legged black trouser. So I will post a little picture for you here. So those are the ultra wide leg button down pants by Pateau and these are £950 new. £950 for a pair of black wide leg trousers. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to make them ourselves at home using this pattern. So the pattern selection I've chosen for you was really obvious to me. This is the Vogue 9282. I've seen this made loads and loads of times and I actually think I already have this pattern at home. So this is a beautiful pattern. It has a couple of different trouser options in there for you. And I just feel like it is almost an exact replica of these trousers. The only thing different in this pattern is the button placement. So if you can see on version C of the pattern, that one is the one that's most accurate to Camille's pair. But on Camille's pair, she has two gold buttons in the center and then a little button sort of placket that goes over the top just for extra detail. I feel like that would be super easy to make yourself. Um, it's literally just a little piece of fabric and then you just put buttonholes in it and you button them over the top. Sort of like what you get on utility jackets, exactly the same as that. So these are, I would say, an exact Jeep replica of those trousers that Camille is wearing. So like I said, you can save yourself 950 pounds by grabbing that Vogue pattern. With fabric for this, I haven't really picked you out a fabric for you to choose from these can be made in so many different types of fabric. Camille's trousers are likely to be made in either a crepe or a polyester crepe blend. So obviously trousers crease quite easily because you're moving around in them a lot. So it's quite likely they have put polyester in there to prevent creasing. I don't want to speak on behalf of Pateau. They may have made them out of silk. I don't know what that trouser is made out of. But if it was me personally, I would get a poly blend to make sure that there is less ironing, less creasing in those trousers. <laughs> So look number three was probably my most surprising find throughout the show. Look number three is worn by Sylvie, who is Emily's boss when she goes to Paris. Um, she's a little bit hard face, a little bit cold shouldered, and she wears a lot of amazing power outfits throughout the season. Um, this one here is a beautiful bottle green dress. Now this outfit is actually from ASOS, and it is $79.99, which really, really surprised me because I think this is kind of like a high street find. So obviously if you did want to go and find that dress, they do have it over on ASOS if you are prepared to spend £80 on it. If not, I'm going to show you how to make one really, really similar at home. So the pattern is the Butterick Retro 51 5880. So these are vintage remake patterns from Butterick. They do quite a few of these. Now what I will say about this pattern is that it does have a different neckline. So it has little tiny notches in the neckline there, but you could easily either take those out entirely and just cut it on the straight, or you could put them in because I do think it is a beautiful detail. It doesn't have a leg split in this pattern. Again, a detail that you can add if you are confident in it. But overall, it's got pretty similar shape and draping, which is why I selected this one. I feel like these kind of style dresses with the ruching and the draping, those little minute details actually add quite a lot to the pattern. Um, so I felt like this was a really good match. You could make this in so many different types of fabric. I personally would make it in something with a little tiny bit of stretch in it just to give it that sort of like bodycon like clinging look. I feel like that is kind of of that era as well, that wiggle dress kind of vibe. Again, you can make this in so many different colours. Sylvie is wearing it in bottle green, which is one of my favourite colours. But of course, if you want to stand out, you can go for a knockout red.
The great thing about this pattern is it does come with a little belt option as well, which I do think you could make in a contrasting colour to add a little bit more of a couture detail. So for a fabric choice, I have just picked out this £8.80 a metre crepe fabric from Dalston Mill Fabrics. It is just a beautiful bottle green crepe fabric, which is likely what this dress is going to be made out of. As I said, I don't know what they're made out of in real life, but this is from ASOS, so I feel like it's likely to be made out of that kind of fabric. So next up is my absolute favourite look from the season. So Emily wears this dress when she is going to a party. This was one of my most iconic looks. I found this really hard to recreate. It is quite an unusual cut. It's got a few statement sleeves on there as well. So this is Emily's red heart dress. This is actually sold out everywhere. I couldn't find the couture price for it, but this is by a company called Anuki. And obviously everyone has gone out and bought it because I absolutely couldn't find it anywhere. Pattern wise, this was quite a difficult one for me to choose. The dress itself is quite a simplistic sort of bodycon look, but it has these absolutely fabulous puff sleeves um, and a gorgeous sweetheart neckline. So it is kind of a mismatch of lots of different patterns. If you are super confident in hacking, I feel like you guys at home could make this really easy. But I have chosen a couple of patterns that are the most similar to it. So if you are more of a beginner, the pattern that I suggest you use is the New Look 6615. So this is quite a simplistic shape. Um, it's kind of like different options. You've got a body conversion. You've also got a fit and flare. This has got wonderful off the shoulder options for you. So that is called a bardo neckline. It has this gorgeous little scalloped hem, which I absolutely love. It's not quite the same as Emily's, but I feel like it does incorporate quite a lot of the same sort of vibe. So obviously made in a fabric that is closer to Emily's fabric, you will sort of be recreating quite a similar look for, of course, a fraction of the price. Um, so yeah, that is the new look 6615. You could, if you're confident, also play about with options of making those sleeves a bit more puffy if you wanted to. But like I said before, the actual shape of the main dress is quite simplistic. It is just those statement puff sleeves. Um, they're sort of like a pleated sleeve um, that makes it so different. So the fabric selection that I've chosen for you is pretty, pretty close. This is the Rose and Hubble heart print fabric. It is a cotton poplin, so it will be a little bit um, on the stiffer, thicker side. If you're looking for something with a bit more stretch in it, um, you can go further afield and have a little look. Overall, like I said, I feel like this is a pretty good dupe that you can make at home. <laughs> Now, lastly, one of the most unusual looks from the show. This is worn by Mindy. Now, I absolutely love Mindy. This is Emily's friend that she met when she first came to Paris, and she is the most out there kind of character in the show. So she is a singer, and she does find herself wearing quite some out there outfits. So she is seen in the second season wearing this absolutely amazing white blazer. On its own, it looks absolutely incredible, but the most interesting detail about it is that it has a built-in cape. Now, capes are super, super in at the moment. They're seen a lot on the couture runways at the moment, and interestingly, they are also making a way into the bridal kind of fashion as well. I've seen a lot of bridal looks that involve capes. So I was really pleased to see this. I feel like it was really fashion forward and they are gonna be kind of integrating these capes into our fast fashion kind of world that we live in. So I was searching high and low for a pattern, obviously, because a cape is quite unusual. And I did come across the Vogue 1579. So the cape on this is a bit shorter and the neckline is completely different, but I do feel like it was the only pattern that I could find that had this interesting sort of cape shoulder kind of cover up. So although it is not a direct recreation of Mindy's outfits in the show, I do feel like you are getting that little bit of a French touch with this pattern. It does have a cape included, so if you are looking to just be inspired by this look, definitely this is a good pattern to start with. 
This pattern I do feel like you need to wear with confidence because it is not something that we're seeing in mainstream at the moment, but I am pretty confident that it's not gonna be too long till we do start seeing this on the high street. I will leave the fabric choice down to you on this one. I feel like because it is quite a simplistic dress and they do have that statement um, cape, it might be best made in a plain fabric to allow those details to stand out. Personally, I would love to see it in a crisp white or a powder blue because I feel like those are really trending colours at the moment. <laughs> So of course, no French look is complete without a beret. Emily is seen wearing a beret quite a few times throughout the season and she did wear it quite a lot in season one as well. I have found the most adorable reversible beret pattern for you to make one yourself at home. So this pattern is made by Tooth and Eye on Etsy and it is a super reasonable price of £1.48. So there is no excuse not to French up your look, ready in time for the spring. So those are my favourite looks from this season's Emily in Paris. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know which versions of those outfits you're going to make yourself at home. I hope to see you really soon and you're going to be looking très chic. And if you have liked this video, do give it a little thumbs up. If you want to see more of what my favourite outfits are, do click subscribe down below and I can't wait to see you really soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!